not really anything happening right now guys no no new trailer i mean we could watch the loki trailer but like yeah we might as well hello we have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you great to see you again <laughs> guys that, that's that's what's been happening that's the that's from spider-verse right that's just the live action version of it he's not in his universe so he's like phasing out there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction dang hey is he cleared <laughs> did, did, they they had to clear him of charges he's he's too central to the new marvel shit they couldn't lose him <laughs> marvel putting out fires i take a more slow deliberate cerebral approach it's really good Bob. this it's really good because it's like it's like a buddy cop it's like it's like a buddy cop uh, show almost because it's just like two partners solving mysteries. <laughs> Actually, Loki's good. Loki's so good. Well, season one, season one was. There's a part in this trailer where he shoots like a green goo, a, the green Bam. mist. What? Well, what is that? Always That's just wind. Been. Look at that. What is the? What is the power? It's just energy. It's it's strand subclass. Can't believe I said that. I think they're like trying to cover the backstories of the individual TVA employees because in season one, right, it was revealed that they were stolen from their lives to work at the TVA. Yeah, that's what all those scenes Save with the this uh, place. is this crap? The TVA people in their in their separate uh, time periods. I think that's what it is. I love that Kihoi Kwan is here, man. I loved him in uh, was it Everything Everywhere? He's such a good actor. A Make twist. the hard choice. It's him. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's fun. I'm def I'm looking forward to it for sure. I hope it's good, man. There's like such few Marvel shit that's actually that I'm actually like looking forward to. Did Did you guys look at Secret Invasion? Yo, I the first like I think three the first three episodes of Secret Invasion actually like kind of hooked me. You know, when it was all about the the mystery of the the scroll shit, it was like pretty dark. The first three episodes, like they're like. They're like bombing cities, torturing informants and or torturing prisoners. I'm like, this is so R-rated for Marvel. They're like cutting fingers off. Like what the hell? I feel like I'm watching the old Netflix Marvel shit again. And then apparently, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I only watched like the first three episodes, dude. But I'm not watching the rest. Do you guys want to see? You guys want to see what what happened, man? Yeah. Where's the fight Fury, scene? I've been I've been seeing the fight scene all over Twitter. I never actually like. Saw it in full. It just became a huge ass CGI battle. It's like if Andor, if it's like if the finale of Andor season two is a big CGI fight where he he has the force and a lightsaber. That's it. That's what it is. What am I looking at, man? What? <laughs> Show us the arm, show us the arm. Iconic shot. No, they didn't show the arm. <laughs> what am I watching, Marvel? It's a CGI fight. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, th this, this finale got cooked, man. It's currently like the lowest rated Marvel episode. Or Marvel thing. Anything Marvel, right? Yeah, here, lowest rated MCU episode ever with an episode. <laughs> Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> she doesn't need a dragon. She can just like punch Cersei off the throne. Dude, what is that, man? The, you know what? I think what it could have fixed it is if uh, they just made it like too big for her body. Like, because the length is still like proportional to her, but it's Drax's like jacked arm, so it's weird. They needed to like make this they needed to just make it longer and like fucking weirdly dangle from her body or something. I, I just remembered to bring it up because we were watching the Loki trailer. Dude, what did they do? Super Gaia versus Super Gravic. My favorite Marvel character. Yeah, I act I actually have something to say about the show because again, I watched the first three episodes and I thought they weren't bad. I even, I humiliated myself in an Xbox party chat, man. I told Caleb, like, hey, honestly, dude, I know I'm a Marvel hater, but, like, the first three episodes, not not too bad, you know? It's kind of, like, different. A little more, I wouldn't say grounded, but, like, it's a little darker. Not something we really see in Marvel. And then what happens at the very end? Huge CGI battle between Super Gaia and Super Gravity. Oh, my 
my favorite MCU heroes. Can't wait for Super Gaia versus Kang. I can't wait for the Super Gaia trilogy, Marvel. Thanks, thanks, Kevin. Thanks for the content, Kevin. Great daily upload, Kevin. Dude, guys, when all these shows start dropping, we're gonna we should do like fucking episode episode discussions for Andor. <laughs> That's our new thing. New arc for the for the Twitch channel. The director said it's not my job. To, hey, oh yeah, I forgot the and Culture Crave was like covering that. I don't know if I can find it. This account tweets too often. But yeah, the the writer was saying something about how the re what did he say? Did he say he likes that the reviews were low or that he wasn't bothered by it? I don't know. I I don't know how to find it again. Yeah, no. The the guy himself, the guy who made the show or who was like in charge of the show he's like coping super hard in the interviews you made shit dude let's let's face the truth oh, Ryan Johnson, actually like Ryan Johnson's movies it's just the last jedi is an assault on my soul it's just that one thing did i ever tell you guys how the last jedi temporarily for like i don't know maybe two three months of my life the last jedi kind of like sent me into some fucking bad places on youtube my recommendations were fucking jordan peterson ben shapiro who else uh milo yiannopoulos all those fucking conservative mouthpieces i was like i was in that shit man i was like they ruined star wars man fucking last jedi the last jedi sent me it <laughs> i know that's how much i hated that movie it sent me into that circle for like three months and then i left because it started to get a little embarrassing uh, being with the other folks in there. Yeah, it got a little embarrassing. <laughs> I, I corrected. I course corrected, but still, that's how bad that show got me, man. That movie killed me. <laughs> I had a fucking far-right phase because of Last Jedi, dude. <laughs> that's true. That is true. I mean, I'm past it now, so I'm fine talking about it. Oh, those are there for you all the time. Yeah, those used to be there for me all the time, too. I mean, not anymore. Fuck, I need water, guys. I'm gonna leave you here with a shot of Super Gaia and Super Gravit. It's <laughs> fucking bad. Alright, I'll be back. Canon event! <laughs>